everybody. How are you this week? I'm Cheryl Lee Harnish. I am the author of the Path of the Soul, Divine Guidance, and Return of Spirit deck that we're going to be using in our reading today. Uh, if you want any information about where to get the cards, how to contact me for a personal reading or my social media, it's all right down there in the video description. So our reading pick a card is going to be um, what path do you need to take now? Like what direction do you need to aim your arrows or, you know, do you need to kind of implement or add to your path to really make it congruent to your heart? Um, and I thought we would do pick a deck instead of pick a card because that's always fun. So for today's reading, this will be choice number one, choice number two, and choice number three. Now take your time, choose choose what your heart feels, not just what your head feels. If you want to choose two decks or all three readings, you do whatever resonates for you. And let's get started. Hi group number one, how are you? Okay, uh, I've just laid them out, so um, I'm just I'm just taking a second to put together this story because there's two two cards that are really calling me in this. Okay, so the first one for you guys, you know, it's what is the best path for you to take right now? And, you know, I I need to start with this guy here. Um, these pictures are all fractal images. They're similar to sacred geometry. And I can't control how the images turn out. I just do math and... It, image comes and in this fractal there's this deity buddhist looking deity and the card is called shenrizi and shenrizi is all about manifestation and manifesting so i would have to say that many of you guys have been or are working on manifesting some things into your life or you are about to really get dang serious about manifesting. Now, the reason that I, this card is so significant is because, you know, you're at a point in your journey where it's not about saying, um, oh, but it's up to the universe if that's my fate or if that's my destiny and it's up to the universe and why did the universe do this to me and why did the universe forget that? It's not about what the universe has done to you. You have to realize, understand, and know deep in your heart, know consciously that you are God incarnated. You are God incarnated. You are a creator. You are here to create in your life. And that is what you are doing at every single moment of every day. You create your entire life and everyone within it. Um... And this is about, you know, what's the best path for you to take? It's like the universe is saying, take the realm, uh, the, the reins, take the helm, you know, take a hold of your life, decide what you want. It isn't like, you know, I, I've always wanted to do this, but, or, you know, I wish that I could no more of that. The universe is saying no more of that. You can create anything that you want in your life. You can be and do anything you choose. And it's just sitting, resting in the truth that you are a creator. That's what you do. <laughs> so I know there's the secret um, methodology of manifesting and stuff like that. If that works for you, that's great. There's also Esther Hicks. Um, but I'm really strongly going to suggest Neville Goddard, um, because I'm just going to do that. It's what I'm drawn to do, and he is he empowers people in a completely different way about what manifesting is and how you do it. Um, and I have to say that n along with you guys really taking the, the reins on what's happening for you in your lives, like I know that... It, for you guys, this this has already been some sort of theme going on, okay? It feels like you're just getting a little um, spanking by the universe to really step up your game and really step into your own power 
and step into your truth. And sometimes that's scary. It's not always easy. And you know, it's not like, it's just like riding a bike or learning to play the piano or learning to swim. You know, you don't just get on that bike and pedal off happily into the sunset. You know, you take the, the handlebars and you try to balance yourself the best you can, but you only get so far before you tip over and go, damn, that didn't work. And you have to get back on and start again. And what this is talking about is to not be discouraged if some of the things that you've been wanting to and attempting to manifest have not come through yet. It's okay that it hasn't come through. You're learning you're learning yourself. And this is like also, you know, like that encouragement to keep going, keep trying, because there's other methods and ways. There's so many ways to manifest. And you need to experiment and play and lighten up. Like the energy is very much about light, lightening up a little bit here. Um, the other card that we have sitting here is the revealed card. And I feel like it really works hand in hand with this um, Shen Rizzi card. I'm going to bring it up here close for you guys. Um, now, in the revealed card, it looks like this universe, and it's all pouring out of this center. And, you know, in one way, that universe card, uh, the revealed card, what it's speaking about is like coming out of hiding, you know, coming out from behind that protective little wall that that you've built and really allowing yourself to step out into the world because when you have that wall when you feel like you've been in that place of self-protection which we all do which is all necessary for for us at some point in our lives um but that when you step out behind that wall there's like a whole new world <laughs> i i hear that disney song stuck in my head from aladdin um but it's really about stepping out and stepping into your life and really allowing yourself to be seen and heard and take a, take a space, a place in this world. Um, you know, you're, the other part with this card is that, you know, you have this deep love and this, these gifts to share, to share that there's a part of you that's meant to be brought out into this world and it feels like that's a that is a part of this manifestation process is allowing yourself to literally like become the creator of your own universe in in that sense but there's also this card sitting over here this is the third eye card so with the third eye card showing up in this row um that's telling me that one your intuitive development uh, is foremost and primary in this and that I wouldn't doubt that that many of you are already quite intuitive and there's a feeling what I'm feeling with this card how this is working is that it feels to me like intuitively you know your your highest self the universe whatever however you want to put that is like guiding you and pushing you to really take control of your life and it and it's you've got these hints and nudges and nug, nigglings going on um inside about what is best for you and it's like you know maybe some of you guys have been kind of ignoring that inter, inner voice and letting your head override and go oh no but i can't and um oh you see but i'm not good enough and oh but i can't and yeah no more of that no more of that <laughs> because it's time for you guys to really step up and do it now it feels to me also that um i i would not be surprised if many of you are feeling called to develop your um intuitive abilities and gifts more and whether that means just um you know, doing research online and um, really starting to honor it because with your intuition, the more that you honor it and follow it and, um, you know, it's like when you honor your intuition, you're praising your intuition. It's almost like a child. And then and then that child wants to shine more and, and be seen more. And that's kind of what it's talking about with the intuition. But because it's sitting right here next to the goddess card, um, the goddess is like about female empowerment. So 
Um, and if you're male, it's not saying that you need female empowerment, but that there's those feminine qualities of being um, in touch with yourself emotionally to embracing your sexuality and to embracing those feminine qualities such as nurturing, healing, and intuition. And, you know, with it sitting right there, it's kind of saying like it's about stepping into that mode because the head, the mind, the conscious mind, you know, the decision maker is very logical and methodical and and is very ma the masculine aspect of our consciousness. Our, our ego mind is very the masculine. The subconscious, which it is where manifestation and intuition takes place is the feminine side of things and it feels like that's what it's talking about is to really you know get out of the conscious mind the ego mind the thinking um, the limitation because the conscious mind is so limited and to really step into your um your intuition and allow yourself that that greater the unknown, the mysterious part of the universe to work through you, to channel channel that out through you. Now, the other thing with the third eye card is it does directly work with manifesting because it's the the key. One of the key components is feeling and and visualization, and it feels like that is another part of what they're talking about. And with the this card here is called the clarity card. And to me, because the clarity card came out at the, literally at the opposite end, and we have two um, purple toned colors to each end, that again, it's reinforcing that intuition, the, the higher chakras functioning through there instead of the lower base chakras, which, you know, can, we can implement um, fears and stuff like that, that hold us back. But with the clarity card being here at this end, it's like the clarity comes through making that decision and just saying, this is what I feel I need to go for. This is what I feel I need in my life, no matter what my head is saying, and then actually going for it. Now, the last card that we have here is the Royal Order card. And what this guy is talking about is making sure that you are taking care of yourself. Um, you know, that you're eating properly and doing self-maintenance and stuff like that because it feels like there's a little bit of stuck energy here for you guys and that you may, may be neglecting yourselves in some way. Um, and sometimes that comes when you're just feeling kind of off, right? You're like, eh, what does it matter <laughs> if I, what I eat or, you know, if I'm taking care of myself? But it is important that you take care of yourself because it's so that act of self-love, you know, fuels that energy that you need to really begin to create a, a life that is congruent with your heart, right? So it feels to me that this is, it's not about which path is the best for you to take, is that you just need to say, this is what you want and do it. Just do it, damn it. That's what it's talking about. So um, this is just a general reading. My personal readings are much more in depth. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can find my contact info below. And please do share, like, and subscribe to the video. I really appreciate it. Or sub subscribe to my channel. And I wish you much blessings. You guys have some amazing stuff coming up for you. Just honestly. Breathe through this part, this I don't know part, because and make your choice, make your decision, because the whole world is literally opening up for you. Okay? So, much love. I will see you next week. Hi, group number two. How are you? Okay, so I've just pulled the cards out of the deck, and I'm going to lay them out here for you. Let's see... Okay. Huh. All right. Okay. So, looking at these, I feel like I need to start with these two. Um, because I'm going to start with this one first. Now, 
the question is, what is the best path for you to take right now? And this card is called Reflections. Now, it doesn't always show up so well on video um, because the colors mash, but this is like a pool of water reflecting this wall of spirals, and then it pours down into this waterfall. And it's, uh, you know, it's these deeper, darker colors. And what that tells me is that for many of you, you've been in this place um, lately that is very much more introspective, maybe um, introverted, you know, uh, while you still have to, you know, do life and do work and and do the world outside of you, that it's been a lot of, um, you know, really looking within and there is an element of maybe some sadness or some depression or some sort of loss or just feeling lost, you know. And it feels to me like <laughs> what it's saying is that that is okay. Like having these periods and these moments in our lives is really okay because it forces us to reassess ourselves um, it, it forces us to reassess our lives and it forces us to reassess the people in our lives. Um, so with that card being there, <clears throat> the reflections card is also about taking that time to really go within, you know, taking time, um, for like self care and self nurturing. Um, but also, you know, making more of a spiritual connection through meditation and uh, receiving uh, healing work, body work, you know, um, any of those things that, um, that bring you more into connection to your truth, that kind of eliminate the world outside of you and it focuses you on yourself and your journey and your process. Now, there are, I didn't. I pointed out here that there are all these spirals, okay? And wherever we have spirals in a reading, it tells me that there is A, a lot of growth, and B, healing happening. And so not only do you have all these spirals in this card sitting right next to it, you have master number 44, um, and it's the divine guidance card. And so again, it is reiterating the that healing theme and that growth theme. Now, um, with this card, what the Divine Guidance card talks about, again, it, it kind of mirrors this in some respects, is that, you know, you've had your tears that have fallen and you've had your hard knocks, um, but this is about getting back up. And, you know, with all these beautiful um, golds in here. It's telling me that this is about the path isn't so much for you about the direction to start walking right now is that this this path is about you opening up and healing some of these core beliefs so that when it's time for you to step out there and um, really when you feel strong and within your power and your strength that you are going to know exactly what direction to take. And, you you know, it's like rebuilding some, you know, those tears are cleansing. And those times of um, these, these more difficult times um, help you to break down, release, let go of the things that don't work in your life and you rebuild it. You know, it does sort of have that phoenix kind of energy to it. And... And with this pure white center of light, it's like, it's it's saying to me that there is, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, that, that this process is really, it's an enriching process that really brings you into the deeper aspects of your psychology and your inner workings and why you do what you do and why you don't do what you don't do. And really taking that time to go within and make that connection. And it feels like that spiritual connection is is such a big part of it. Because what you're, what's coming with, out of this is this part. is This card is called freedom. And you can see this shell-like 
kind of little guy in here. And that is, this is literally about coming out of your shell. So it feels like spirit is saying, you know, hold on, hold tight. This will still remain a part of your process for a while. And that's okay. That's going to be your private work, your personal work, but that, that you're coming into this place where you are beginning to open up again, where you are beginning to like literally come out of your shell and kind of revisit the world. And, you know, especially it's interesting that it came right beside the receiving card, um, not so much because of the meaning, but because the energy of the receiving card is just you know, this opening and this blossoming, and then you have this card talking about coming out of your shell. So it feels to me like that's literally what it's saying, you know, you're like this little um, butterfly in its chrysalis right now, and you're doing all this inner work and inner introspection and, you know, making this really profound and solid connection to yourself and spirit. And through that, you are going through this transformational period and that you're coming out of that and you're coming out of that to really let yourself be out here in the world without those the walls of protection and um you know understanding and knowing that you are worthy that you are deserving that you are lovable that you are special and that you are amazing and and really feeling that as a truth in your soul, not just some concept or mantra that you try to repeat to yourself to make yourself believe it, but really knowing it because the receiving card is here and that's where, that's where all that energy, I, I'm feeling all of that energy. So it's like really allowing yourself to come out and step out into the world. And I'm gonna put this over here because it's gonna be relevant to this in a minute. So with the receiving card, that's telling me that, that there are either people around you right now who are massive major supports for you or that they are coming in, coming into your world here. And, you know, sometimes that can even be like somebody that you haven't met in person. You know, you find like that YouTube channel of somebody who is doing the work for themselves and you feel really connected to them and what they're putting out in the world really helps you to evolve. You know, it can be, it can be different in so many ways, but the receiving card is about allowing yourself to really be open to receiving what comes to you in life and allowing others to give to you. And a lot of the times, you know, we're like, no, no, it's okay. You know, you don't have to help or I don't need your help. Um, you don't have to do that for me. And we do that. We think we're doing that because we're being nice. But in, the truth is, the bottom line is that we're doing that because there's some part of us that feels that we aren't worthy, that we aren't deserving of that. And, you know, it's really important that we you realize, that we all realize that when we deprive someone the gift of giving, um, we're not allowing them to grow either, right? Because we all grow through giving. So this is about allowing yourself to receive and it is really tied in with this one, which is called on target. And it feels to me like Spirit is saying, this may not be exactly how you want things to be right now, but it's exactly what needs to be right now because you're you're moving on to something really big here, you guys, okay? And it's about, you know, as you make this shift from this energy of being introspective and healing and coming out into the world, it's about allowing yourself to receive the good that's out there and around you and the help and assistance from other people because you are really on mark you really are and this card that i have here is earth angel and i feel like that is what this is pointing to that it's about coming out of your shell and all of this healing is for you to step into this role because those you know if you want to say earth angel or light worker you know there's some souls that are here to be in service to the world. They're, 
they just are. And it's like for you guys, group two, that no matter what your um, uh, profession is, that you guys are a group of souls who are here to be in service. And the, the only way that we can truly be in service to others is to have empathy, compassion, and understanding for where they are and where they've come from, which is why that it seems that, um, you know, that those of us that are here to be in service seem to go through a lot more of the harder times and do a lot more inner processing and have, you know, more difficult experiences and interactions and relationships with people because we are learning all these aspects so that we can really step into this place of being in service to others in a way that's grounded and healthy and we are healthy um, emotionally mentally spiritually and physically and that's what this is about and it's really you are on target to really doing that so it's telling me that at some point down this path that you're going to have a role change a role switch if you haven't already if you aren't already in service that that's where this path is heading for you um now this is a personal uh, a group reading um, my personal readings are much more in depth and if you would like a personal reading you can look down in the video description um, please do hit the like button, um, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I have videos coming out every week. Um, I really wish you much love, and I will see you next week. Bye. Hi, Group 3. How are you? I just pulled the cards out of the deck, and I am going to lay them out here. Okay, so we have Star Seed, Commitment music, birthing, right order, and return of spirit. Hmm. Okay, I am just putting together the story here. See, these two are telling me the strongest story first. So, uh, okay, I'm going to start with this one. Because you have the return of spirit, you know, it's funny, in the previous reading in group number two, they also got the um, cover card of the deck. That's funny. Um, so with the Return of Spirit card, see how it kind of looks like a winged sort of shape here? It gives me the feeling of Phoenix. And this, the Return of Spirit card is literally like the story of the phoenix and it feels like you guys are just coming you're coming out of a time or a period where you felt like you were in the dark and you weren't sure exactly what you were supposed to be doing um you know and you may have had some emotional difficulties or whatever happening in your life whatever whatever that was that's going on um but with this card with the phoenix card it's it is like being reborn and rebuilt out of the ashes and i mean it's kind of funny you even have the birthing card there which is like you know a rebirth although that card has a different meaning um it's still reiterating reiterating this message of of like of of coming in a, in, into a rebirth and this is like a period of 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 adjustment and really finding your own sense of personal power and your own place in life and like really you know discovering your path and your purpose and what I find really kind of cool is that we have this guy over here so this freaky fellow is called Starseed um, and I'm sure you can see the face in that fractal um, with the Starseed card, the Starseed card is about, you know, always feeling in life like you're the odd man out, that, you know, you're the lone wolf, that, that it seems like everybody else in the world has a place, that they belong, a spot, they have a purpose, and that you don't, like it, it feels like you can't quite find where you belong. And and there's something about your uniqueness with this that you don't march like all the other kids march in line, right? <laughs> that um, that you would be doing a tango in a line going down versus a march. 
And that, and the message with this card is that you are supposed to be unique and different. You aren't supposed to just fit in like everybody else, that you are supposed to stand out and that it's the uniqueness of who you are. Um, it's, it's that, that diversity, the, the, the difference flavor that you bring to the world. It's needed. Like you came this way for a reason, right? Like you need to trust that. And the thing with the starseed card is, is about coming to a place where you really start to feel that you have found your spot and your place in life. And I know that like the, the theme for the reading is what is the best path for you right now? And it feels like there's this key element of like really being reborn and coming into your own strength and power and um, really claiming your spot and going, yeah, I don't do things like everybody else and I don't plan to. And damn it, yes, do not do things like everybody else. This is about finding your 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 spot in life. And, you know, here we have the birthing card. So that tells me that there, there is something coming up for you guys that you are giving birth to. And, you know, um, yes, some of you might actually be pregnant um, or having a baby. Um, but most often, uh, this is talking about, you know, starting a project or starting something new that's for yourself that and it and it does it it becomes like your baby because you give birth to this thing and you nurture it and grow it. So with the birthing card what that's talking about is that everything has its gestation period, right? So you know a, a little chicky is 28 days, a human baby is 9 months. Well, this baby, this project that this new new thing that you are coming into and working on is going to take time. And for each and every single one of you, it is going to have a different gestation period. Now, what's important is that you allow this gestation period to be because, you know, with a baby, you don't want that baby to be born prematurely, even though you're really anxious to see it and kiss it and hold it and touch it. Um, you know, you want that baby to have the best possible start in life. So you don't want to have a premature baby. And this is about not rushing the process. And I find it interesting that it's sitting right here next to the right order because the cards are telling me, you guys, that you, you actually are on the right path. There's just some self-doubt going on here. And that for this baby of yours... Um, that there's still a few things that you need to get in order. And I feel like this is what might be causing some of you guys some hesitation. So often this is talking about having to get paperwork in order or get things organized because whatever it is that you guys are doing, there's more to it than just going, ta-da, here it is, <laughs> right? And this is about getting things in order. But this, it feels like there's there's things in your life that may not be directly um, related to this project start beginning. Like whatever word. I'm just going to call it your baby, you guys. So you, you know what I'm talking about. But if the feeling that I'm getting with this card is that there's other things in your life that you need to get sorted um, to make space and room for this as well. Um, and I, you know, for some reason I'm getting... It's like the feeling of having to get your relationships or personal life. There's things, something that needs to get in order here that you need to take care of um, while this is gestating because there needs to be space for this to happen, it feels. So there's some sort of changes coming up here with, I don't know if that is for all of you, it will be relationships. For some of you, it literally will be getting paperwork in order, um, you know, doing the, the, the stuff to organize in order to, to create this, um, getting that stuff in order. Um, but I have the commitment card here. So for some of you, I feel like what they're talking about is really saying, 
okay, you know, this idea for, because not all of you have jumped on the train yet. Um, this is just this little, uh, idea sitting in the back of your mind. And that is about really fully wholeheartedly committing yourselves to doing this. Um, and that can be scary at times, right? It's easier when you just keep it an idea than, than to actually claim it. And that's the whole theme with that star seed card sitting there is claiming it and stepping out and doing it. And through that, really finding your place and your mark in life. So it feels to me like you guys are on the right path. It's just about allowing yourself to do it and really being solidly committing to it. Um, because whatever this is, it's important enough that the universe orchestrated you having this random reading online in order to tell you to hold strong with it and to really commit yourself to it. Now, I find it interesting that we have the music card here. Um, and it doesn't always show up so well on video, but it is quite beautiful. This fractal looks like it's um, penciled in. Um, with the music card, that in most respects is speaking about um, going with the flow of things, you know, like dancing, to dance. so you, it's like um, going with the rhythm of the music instead of trying to create your own rhythm. And that it's metaphorical about, again, the timing, the speed, how events unfold. It's about um, not, uh, you know, it's sometimes we panic or we react to things and, <gasps> and um, we kind of clench our energy and, you know, it's fear that drives that. Um, and this is saying just breathe through everything that's happening and the way things that are flowing. And I feel like they're talking about with the things that you're, you need to get in order. Just go with it. Go with the flow. Go with the rhythm, the pace of how things are happening. Um, have some patience with this. That, you know, this can be a mad tango or a beautiful waltz. And that depends on you to just uh, um, release and really allow this process to unfold on its own. But I do feel for some of you, there is something musical involved, whether that is singing or um, um, sound healing, you know, any of those kind of things or modalities. And it can be just even using your voice in some way or some capacity. So, you know, it will, it, it's going to unfold because this is a group reading. It's going to unfold differently for, for most of you. So I have to say to you guys, you are on the right path. This is a, this is a big cheerleading, go, go, rah, rah. You can do it. Have patience. This is about you really claiming yourself and being committed to it, even though it's going to take a little bit more work here to evolve and grow and that this is like the assurance of you really stepping out from where you are into a place that is true to your soul and true to your purpose and your path. Now, this is a group reading. Um, my personal readings are much more in-depth, and you can find the information where to contact me down below. Um, you can follow me on social media, but please, please do um, hit like to the video Share the video with your friends and um, subscribe if you haven't already. I have videos out every week. All right. Thank you. Much love. I'll see, I'll see you next week.